It's fair to say Dubai has changed a lot in the last 20 years. It was once a barren desert and now it's a hotspot for everything shiny, new and luxurious. It's home to the tallest building in the world and multiple man-made islands. It's undeniably impressive. However, these spectacular islands may not remain that way forever, especially if they have sunk back into the ocean. Before we dive into why they are sinking, we need to discuss how and when they were built. If you want to go straight to the sinking part, go to the timestamp on the screen right now. The first mega project was the Palm Jumeraya, which started construction in 2001 and reportedly cost $12 billion to build. The island is made from natural earth materials. A lot of natural earth materials. In fact, 3,257,212,970 cubic feet of sand was dredged up from the Persian Gulf and sprayed into place. They used GPS satellites to ensure it was being accurately sprayed to create the palm tree shape. Dredging, by the way, means to excavate materials from the bottom of water. Just five years later, in 2006, people were moving onto the island. And as of 2017, it's estimated that over 10,000 people reside on the island. Going back to 2002 now, Dubai announced the construction of Palm Jebel Ali. It was set to be 50% larger with six marinas, a water park and many residential homes. However, in 2008, due to the financial crisis that hit the world, construction stopped and it has not resumed. It wasn't until 2021 where the CEO of the developer, Nekiel, said they plan to restart the project, potentially building villas on the island. Jumping back in time again to 2003, when Dubai was clearly in a craze of building artificial islands, they started the construction of The World. This would be a collection of man-made islands which would resemble, well, The World. Each island would be sold separately to the highest bidder, so the ultra-wealthy could say they own the England section or they own the island of Australia. Again, construction was halted on this project due to the financial crisis of 2008, with only one island being built on. According to the developer, Nakheel, nearly 70% of the islands were sold. That was before reports that the islands were sinking started to hit the news. In 2010, a company called Penguin Marine who was responsible for the transportation to the islands, attempted to get out of their contractual obligation to Nakheel, which included annual fees of $1.6 million. They claimed the sand, which was extracted from the bottom of the ocean, was slowly finding its way back to its origin. The channels between the islands were filling back in, and if it continued, the whole project would be underneath the water. The islands were only built 13 feet above sea level, putting them at risk in the future. Nakheel denied these claims and said, Our periodical monitoring survey over the past three years didn't observe any substantial erosion that requires sand nourishment. Despite their confidence, NASA satellite images showed that they were, in fact, slowly sinking. It almost seems like the project is becoming one big insight into our future. Reports saying that the world is sinking, yet the people who can make a difference don't until it's too late. Since their construction began nearly 20 years ago, the world has become a different place. The public are more aware of the environmental impact projects such as this have, particularly their irreversible damage to the coral on the seafloor. Not only that, but there's a big problem happening in the world which isn't exclusive to Dubai, that being rising sea levels. The Environmental Agency of Abu Dhabi found that under its most severe climate change, all of the Palm Islands would be fully submerged, but then again, its findings showed that most of Dubai itself would also be submerged, so that's not a concern just yet. The islands are also not sinking at the same rate. For example, the Palm Jumeraya, which is inhabited by at least 10,000 people, is sinking the slowest. It's also surrounded by a giant wave breaker, although to ensure it didn't disturb residents' views, they only built it two meters above sea level so it's unlikely to have an impact in the long run. The Palm projects were, and are, undoubtedly an amazing feat of engineering. They began to catapult Dubai into the unique location it is now. 
but maybe they will be a lesson on building things which weren't meant to be there. It's not clear how long it will take for Dubai's man-made islands to fully submerge, but it is clear that it isn't a priority for them. They will do anything and build anything to ensure they reach their goal of being the most popular tourist destination by 2025.